I go bad again. Uh, I'm doing this from the table this time because change scenery. And you can see the lovely ninth doctor in the background. Okay. With all the shop, uh, Halloween shopping I've been doing this year, I don't know how I missed this store because we've done Marshalls at least once. Dollar Tree several times. The at-home store, Walmart, and Target. I don't think I've done. I haven't done Target yet. I I need to go back check up Target. Uh, I went and looked at TJ Maxx. And my apologies to anyone living in Albuquerque. Um, these wonderful things that Voltaire showed that were at the TJ Maxx in his area. That must be, I'm, I'm guessing that's only New York because Albuquerque, meh. Marshalls has a better selection than the TJ Maxx here. I'll just, just saying. But anyway, looking up, looking at Cloth Goth and Gothic Moppets, or I think I'm saying that right. Um, I was inspired to make a few of my own dolls. And of course, obviously none of us made this lovely lady. I found her at Ross sitting there I don't, the shelves were almost empty, which means either I missed, totally missed the ball with shopping there because I didn't think Ross would have anything, or they're just getting started. I'm not sure which, for whatever reason, there's hardly anything there. But I got this. And she, let's see, who is she made by? It says Ross Dress for Less, but her tag has to be on her somewhere as to who actually made her. And I can't, there's, Oh my goodness, there's a piece missing from her back, which means her tag is probably gone. And I don't think Ross made this. It says, it's, all it says is Teal Witch, and it's $12.99. So I know it, I can't give credit to the artist because, as you can see, it's missing. But whoever made this, they did a wonderful job, and I would, again, I would tell you who made it, except for the fact that her tag is missing. The only thing that is on her is her price tag. So, if anyone knows who made her, please give me a holler, and then we can all order some more. Her nose is a little flattened out. And what else did we get? Dia de los Muertos. Salt and pepper shakers. Cats, of course. And these are not Halloween, but as an impulse buy, I mean, you know how I am with chocolate. Chocolate brownie butter biscuits. And these, let's see, what were they made? I need, it says Lancashire. Made in England. Tea, we're having tea today. There's some butter biscuits. But first I need to eat lunch. I'm way behind on lunch because normally by this time, I will have already had lunch. It's got to be like 10 o'clock or so. Cause I, I went to Jiffy Lube, then I went to Ross. I was going to go to Sprouts and pick up some things, but I decided not to because I have to leave money for Lexington Law this time so they don't d put my account in the red. And this is another, again, I wish I'd found these people. So here, this is Witch's Brew. There were so many different things that I wanted. They get, that, that they just a little bit that they had it was just so much I had a hard time deciding and I feel like I said I really need to watch my money because I need to save some of this money some of this check plus bonus aside for next month's rent and also Lexington Law because they are repairing my credit as I said I'm up to almost 500 so I'm not touching my credit one card obviously not playing with that and by next year, like I said, hopefully, according to the real estate agent I talked to, we should be able to look at houses. So, again, fingers crossed. But yeah, this is adorable. And it's got, um, be closer so you can see. Spiders are made out of buttons. That's the kind of thing, if I were thinking about making one, I would do that. I would so do that. And I'm keeping this tag. And, oops, I ripped it. But it's going to go on my pegboard, along with, I think I've got one of my R.I.P. ones on there already that I bought, but that's definitely going on my pegboard. And these are going to go, these are going to replace the, the first coffee. 
that's hanging up there already. And normally I put the hot pot holder, oh yeah, I usually put the pot holder and then the um, glove. So this is going to hang where that one is, and that one, then of course, I will actually, please excuse me, I've had in, problems with insects again in my apartment. When I went to um, Jiffy Lube this morning, I was like, something right here got me right there, and I literally had a pain, like something was stabbing me with a large needle into my sinus cavity, and I was feeling all wonky and kind of wobbly. Uh, the, the tech probably thought I was drunk, but something was stabbing my sinuses. It was horrible. So yes, another good reason to get out of this apartment and get into a house. And this is Kitchen Outfitters. Again, I had so many things to choose from. I had to make myself decide because I could have gone nuts. And yes, clinically nuts. So that's it for that haul. And check my Instagram. I will show you my sunglasses I got from, again, from sunglassmuseum.com. And if anybody knows a way I can take them to an optometrist, our vision care center, and have them made into prescription glasses, that would be fan freaking fantastic. Because what I would love to do is get the um, transition lenses where they're regular when you're inside, and then when you go outside, they get darker. I'm going to have to check on that because I really want to get that done. And I can get glasses done for cheap at Walmart, but I don't know if they can do those frames without messing them up or stealing them. No offense to Walmart, but. I really, I'm really not sure, so I've got to find out. I will show them to the guy at the Vision Care Center and see what they can do. And if they say, no, we can't do it, then I'll just not get glasses again because, quite frankly, I don't like the frames they have now, and I need a new prescription. So that's it. Keep it dark. Keep it weird. And don't drag and drive. Get the other monsters to drive the hearse. I love my bats and weirdos, and the little ones as well. Keep the Halloween coming, and shop like shop like crazy. I'll see you guys next time. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please, if you have any suggestions for me, Put them down below in the comments because I can't make this better without suggestions. Like I said, I've got 27 subscribers back down. I've had 28 twice, dropped back down to 27. And I would really dearly love you guys not to leave completely. So please give me feedback. Feedback, 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 constant. Good or bad, I'll take it with a grain of salt. It's the only way we're going to grow. Sometimes it hurts. So. That's it for now. See you later. Bye.